All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here, check it out. So uh, in the last couple days, or the last since yesterday, I guess, uh, I've received several messages and emails from a bunch of the cool viewers that watch my channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, and you know what? It, 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 this is a pretty important deal. Uh, the article is by Forbes, and it says, Feds demand Apple and Google hand over names of 10,000 plus users of a Gunscope app. Now you read into that, and it... First thing it does is it raises the hair on the back of your neck. It's the feds. Anytime the feds want any kind of information from a private organization like Google or Apple, it can't be a good thing, specifically and because uh, it's part of our, our culture, uh, a gun app. And it's not just a gun app, it's a scope app. And it's, it pertains to a specific company. Uh, what's the name of that company right here? ATN, American Technologies Corp Network. Corp. They make night vision. They make a lot of cool scopes. Uh, and one of the things about these scopes, and let's just go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty of this thing because I have to deal with this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis in the industry that I work in. And it's uh, concerning uh, a thing called ITAR. Okay, And we'll go ahead and I'm going to explain to you what ITAR is. That's the International Traffic in Arms Regulation. Okay, so one of the things that you will see, even if, if you're looking on Amazon, uh, I've got guys working underneath my house right now. We're, we're uh, putting an addition on, so you might hear some background noise. Um, anyway, uh, even on Amazon, if you look at primary arms, if you go to uh, Palmetto State Army, there's always going to be a thing in there that this is a regulated item uh, called ITAR. Even this guy right here. This is, what is this? This is a, a T31 ACOG with the ACSS reticle. This is going on the high speed low drag build, which I'm going to be putting out uh, the videos coming up this week. Anyway, these items are regulated to not be exported to certain countries uh, because there are certain countries that we don't want these things to get into the hands of. So what happened is, is ATN is under investigation by ICE and because they... And I'm just saying this, this is not me, this is what I'm interpreting and reading. If you read the entire article, okay, it'll tell you all the cool things that are going on. So, um, anyway, they exported the rifle scope in combination with the manner in which the ATN Obsidian 4 application is paired with this scope and manufactured by Company A supports the conclusion that the information request herein will assist the government in identifying networks engaged in the unlawful export of this rifle scope through identifying end users located in countries to which export of this item is restricted. So basically what it is, ATN or some other company uh, exported a bunch of these to some people that shouldn't have them, uh, like ISIS, uh, the Taliban, things of that nature. We obviously don't want this kind of technology to get into the hands of someone who, of course, we may have our soldiers out there fighting. Okay, so now we got that behind us. One of the things I would just, here's the scary part. Uh, so you, as a consumer here in the United States, you have uh, gone out and bought your ATN scope uh, and you've downloaded the app. So. Is, are you in danger of having the government come and knock on your door? I don't think so. Uh, is the government looking to uh, find out who has a rifle with this scope on? That's not the purpose of what they're looking for. They're looking for people in a foreign land who could be using these in an effort to kill our own troops. Okay? Um, now, here's the slippery slope. Google, Apple... They haven't responded according to this article here, but what will happen is, is these guys, if they provide the information to uh, the feds, then you never know what's going to happen. Anyway, my family's here, so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know about that. As I am doing a video right now as they walk in the door, of course they're not listening to anything I say, and it's quite okay. And I'm right here. Here come the dogs. Yep. My wife's bringing me my Bojangles chicken and pimento cheese biscuit. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a real quick rundown. The slippery slope is this. Uh, hey! Slippery slope is this. 
if the companies are giving out the names of people who use their products or have purchased their products and they're associated with a firearm, does this violate your constitutional rights? And I want you to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. Anyway, I thought we'd get this job done before uh, the family came back, but obviously we didn't. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Let me know what your thoughts are. Take care.